Hello there everyone and welcome back to the Ashes of Libertad demo mod for Hearts of Iron Form host Mr. Acre Republic. But right now, we're learning from the land, which will get more daily army XP gain, which we can actually really, really use, and then non-combat out of supply penalties. Goes down a little bit more. Not bad, not bad at all. Um I did want to see if we can grab something else. Military auxiliaries or mercenary auxiliaries. We got some daily compliance gain from this as well, and mercenary troop training. Not bad, but we got some quite a few comments to go through as well. Anything else we really want here? Um, soldados, soldados da fortuna. So probably soldiers of fortune, soldiers of fortune, as well as. Oh wait, can we get a war with them? I guess we can, but we're probably not going to. Um, yeah, mercenaries. Oh, A, B, C. Do we want SDR Mercs US, BR or Mercs? I guess let's go see because it's America. Let's go. This one more, more infantry equipment, support equipment. Dipping our wallets. Dipping, di dipping our wallets. What type of wallets are we dipping? 18 comb width. Is that the division I made? Or militia? No, that's this is a pretty good division. Um, actual infantry. This is not bad. This is actually pretty good. They even have artillery on them. Nice. I like that a lot. I like that one a whole lot, actually. Only using defender, of course. Uh, anything else we have here? Oh, we also have the Nut Act. Remove one to two seats for the Nationalists and grab two seats for the Militarists. Pet on Nut Experts and the National Protection Act. Grab one seat Nationalists and Technocrats. Cool. Uh, we definitely we'll take that one whenever we can. And then uh, extra autonomous units. Bonus of supply grace. Might as well. Right? Might as well. Bed Raider, happy 1970, everybody. Hope you're having a great year. Let's grab some more research speed. And River Assault Training. Why not? Why not? Make it nice and fun. The Frogmen. Why not? Okay, so after that... So we've gone ahead and, like, at the end of the last episode, defended Acre's Little Princess and Zapoti Acre's Pride. Maybe the pass Native Protection Act. Get quite a few more demilitary zones, more local population. All right, well, we'll, we'll try it next, I suppose. The return of Carlos Prestes. Oh. Acre for Acreans, all of them. Okay. Weekly manpower. Well, hopefully get more weekly manpower. I like that idea. Uh, let's go ahead and get some more research done. The second Mexican-American war. Huh. Okay, well, that's kind of cool. If you want to read about that, please go right on ahead. Grab some arty. One last showdown. Oh. Woo! The eagle's taking flight. I like it. I like that. It's, kind of, it's very unique. Fragment, eh? Cool. Nice. 5, 6, 20. Good. Why not? Railway guns. 1942 stuff. Why not? As well. Um, give them a vote. Or voice. Give them a voice. Yeah. Let's get right up. Give, go give them a voice. Because we can. Build some supply bases. Uh, building some more roads. We don't really need too much. There you go. Do it too. And give him a voice and found the fun funai. Oh, Gorani inaugurated. The first words, the words first Indian senator appointed the Senate has been displayed in the shops and newspapers and carts across Rio Branco today, being the front line, front page headline of the first issue of a maker's new national newspaper, Oh Gorani. A daily paper aiming to provide the latest news about the going ons of the young republic and all matters from politics to support to local events. Oh Gorani seems to have been filled a crucial gap in the Akrian media industry. A news source circulated across and relevant to the whole nation. To the pleasant surprise of President Curry, who endorsed the paper and was key in organizing its debut, and its publisher. It has so far been immensely popular amongst this news star population. Copies of Suara in many districts of Rio Branco and other towns, and the company stated that it will seek to upscale printing upscale printing and production by expanding its offices and editorial team, as well as by acquiring new printing presses to cope with high demand. In a public statement, it has expressed its willingness and desire to strike a deal with the local transport services and more remote and rural er areas to ensure the newspaper is accessible to all Acreans. Proposing a regularly scheduled delivery of copies of villages to couriers with bikes. Finally, the voice can be heard. We get the free press. Oh, crap. Free press. Oh, no. It was political power, but at the same time, uh, let's take a little pause here and actually read some comments, such as, uh, something in stuff. Toda Gloria e Republica Acriana. As someone says, as a Uruguayan, I can just say, what the heck is this? Look at how they massacred my continent. And someone else says, yes, my state is the only one with a focus tree. Someone said it would be funny if, la if later, in Argentina's tree, focus tree at least, a certain Mr. Mustache Man with an F party came into power. 
Uh, someone recommends we play as Kaiser Redux Mafia Italy. Uh, see, and someone says hello, so hello back. Uh, someone says, wait, this is my country, Brazil, I mean, not Acre. Acre's a country of dinosaurs. Someone says, in Thousand Week Right, plays Nazbal Brezhnev, which sounds like fun. And someone says, the U.S. does exist, just in Panama Canal, but do they have a focus tree? No, unfortunately for now, only Acre's unique focus tree, so. <clears throat> but let us continue with the Founder Funai. Because after finding the Funai, we shall go ahead and revise the SNI actions. Your bonus, 300% bonuses for aircraft and air doctrine. Not bad. Ah, oh, real Bronco. Today was cel we celebrated <clears throat> the inauguration of the office building where Funakao Nacional Indigenista, uh, a governmental agency focused on caring for the native population, uh, will use to host most of the bureaucratic apparatus. The main reason that motivated its creation, according to prominent members of the cabinet represent and the inaugural ceremony, was the need of a specialized body to manage many indigenous populations in our territory, contact the most isolated ones, and ensure firm alliances with those populations, protect native communities. Make sure the integration process into the Ikrian society goes smoothly, and map the locations to ensure the government can give proper coverage to the majority of them. However, there are rumors from one, some sources inside the Funai itself that the agency known officially in the sum of the intellectual circles as Fundacao Nacional de Inteligencia, Foundation for National Intelligence, is a clear mockery to the official name. As a covert purpose, co-op members of these populations are special agents of military age, making use of their vast knowledge in some fields labeled as vital military, such as knowing of Acrian geography, jungle tracking, reconnaissance, survival within the jungle environment, jungle warfare, in which natives excel. These claims have been thoroughly denied by official government sources and deemed as lies spread by Guervas propaganda. Conspiracy theories of lunatics and rabid racist dogs that want to keep the natives' former status of second-class citizens. A day to celebrate. Two civvies, two air bases. Nice. An acre for all Acrians, all of them. Attack and defense bonus. Uh, we'll modify the Red Menace by Ejusito Revolucionario del Norte. What does Ejusito mean? Revolutionary of the North. Is it just Nation of the North? I don't know. So what's it? That's, so that's what they're up to. The old government secrets. Helio gazes his eyes with a fat document file, paying attention to each topic listed in an index before opening it. Land reappropriation, is this all they used to call it? Apparently so, Kailume has dropped another pile of documents on the table next to the last one. Each of these comes accompanied by a number, six, six, to me, six me to think what it means. He rested his elbow over the newest pile. These are all about potentially dangerous individuals. Must have something of value, I bet Marquis's name is stamped all over it. Helio kept browsing his document. <clears throat> List upon list of government-sponsored land theft opened up before him. Miles and miles of land once owned by natives for a millennia stripped of them in an instant and slip of a pen, followed by the name of the new owners, and the numbers of those who resisted. Thank you, General. You've been of great help, said Helio, looking back at the man in the uniform. That's when he noticed a lonely, empty file sitting on top of the table. What's that one about? asked the President. It's, uh, Calume reached forward, bringing it closer to his eyes so he could read the half-erased title. It's titled Disposal of Governor Augusto de Araujo. It's from 63 when he got accused by Ker uh, Sir Kira. Nothing in it, though. With men stood in quiet confusion, Helio broke it with a question. Well, who was storing these folders before they were delivered to me? Well, Sir Kira was. So after this part of the focus streets, we did this one. We've done this one. We've now finished this one, basically. And it's time to get the military underway. Preparing the people. Oh, organization regain is not bad. 1% more crippled population factor. It's not very much, especially with a little over 200,000 people, but we'll take it. Uh, I was doing specialist warfare first, though. So. There we go. Yeah, let's make some arty. I should have made this way long ago. My apologies about that, everybody, but the game crashed, actually, which is not very good. But let's go and do Charismatic Army Leaderships and the Native Protections Act. Not looking too bad. 6, 7, 20? Not bad. But yeah, I do apologize about that. I just, I just randomly crashed, which was not a lot of fun. Armored cars, huh? Armored pickup truck. This looks like the old... Yeah, this is definitely the old tree. High-caliber artillery mounted vehicle, huh? Which I'm not saying there's anything wrong with it, per se, but... Ooh, ah, I see what's wrong with this. Okay, cool. There we go. This should be a little better now. No? Okay, we can't research atomic stuff. There we go, you can research that stuff. Okay, that's fine. Cool. And... Yeah, more daily command power game, which would be fine. Not really needed, but... Okay, learn from the Reds. Attack and defense should be increased. Well, that's always good. Um, do we have any trucks? Yeah, we have trucks. Trucks, colon. Convoys. Well, okay, learn from reds. Some words in... in that was port, is that Portuguese? Um, and here we are at one. But uh, how the... Casadores. Better training times? I hope so. 
jungle training, which we'll do in a little bit, but rooting and hideouts? Why not? Get more guns and jungle training. Yeah, we keep painting and painting up because every time I click on the army button, the game keeps crashing. So if I click on this as highlighting to get artillery, the game keeps crashing, and we want to avoid the crashing, so... It's really kind of sad, but... Complete this focus on lock decision. You can script the civilians during war at a cost. Sounds like fun to me. Please conscript the well natives, but all of them, as many as possible. That, that's kind of disappointing that the game just crashed here. Oh wow! Because oh yeah, they already militarized, so it is what it is, I guess. Motorized, we got some of that too. A contingency plan. If it works, don't change it. Pretty much. No breakthrough in organization sounds pretty good to me. Followed up with grasp abandoned trucks. Well, if we have to get some trucks, sure, why not? Air doesn't really take that much fuel right now, so. And there we go. I do love how fast this mod does move, though. It's very, very nice. Um, Argentina War. The T War, off of that for T. Oh, Chile. Also, there is America up here. This part, Texas Laredo. With America, Robert McNamara. In the United Mexican States. Civic Revolutionary Army. Rebel Armed Forces, of course, good old stuff like that. The workshops? Why not? We love sweatshops. Um, what those armies hates us. It's alright. And then, a national fire stack. Bonus for infantry weapons? Why not? Central's command structure? Getting a bonus to our division organization? Why not? Bonafide officers. <clears throat> bonus to our army morale factor, huh? Sure, why not? We'll take it. I'll gladly take it. Why do our factories keep going up and down? Holy crap, look how fast our factories go up and down. Kind of nuts. Got the Brazilian army structure. And a protection force. Another unit, and another unit, and a Zapuri. Create a Korean unit and Zapuri. Why not? After that one, an a Korean army. Remove all the stuff here and all the previous national spirits will all be merged into one. When do we go to war? I mean, we could go to war with these guys, but what about Shea? When do we go to war with Shea? Oh, wow, that actually gives a. Oh, it gives them weekly manpower? Oh, that's kind of nice. Oh, that was just one state that got, like, more manpower. Militia army? Not great, but not bad. Well, let's see what all happens next. How are y'all looking? 14 count with it is okay. Not great, but it's alright. You guys are doing okay as well. 45 army XP, ain't bad. Motorize. Grab some luck as you can. Advanced computer machine. Grab some encryption, please. Thank you. Sweet. So. Is that it? How do we get more seats? Night vision's nice. We have some marines. We'll grab some marines. Is that it? That might be it. Um, yeah, I still got plenty of rubber though. Better radar, grab some of that as well because you can. Um, maybe grab some planes from the CIA. Interrogation. Is that it? Can I go to war with Shea? Ernesto Guevara, Juan de Valtelio Acuna Nunez, A Dream of Revolution, International Guerrilla. Not sure what he's got currently. 46 Oh, what? 46 divisions? We could probably beat him up. We could probably beat him up. Daily gains 0.12. That might literally be it. Um. I think that might be it, though. Maybe it for terms of content. It's a five to seven years, I think. And we did start in 62, so I think that might be it for us. If that's the case. Can we actually go to war with someone else? Wow. We actually built everything up here already. Holy crap. Here. Build all his radar. Okay. I thought there'd be quite a bit more to this than... We can really build this up like crazy. Holy smokes. Um, well. Uh, let's see. No decisions. We want to focus, uh. 
I should go to war with you. Everyone's politically connected. Man. Well, I'm pretty sure that that's it for us. I could be wrong, but still. And then... Can you all go in and do well? 36 Divisions Decryption. Nice. Go, go, go! Well, we kill off 219. It's pretty nice so far. Contingency Plan Act. Okay. We lose war sport and a lot of stability. Oh, create divisions that way. Fire and stick. Yeah. Okay, cool. Well, I think that's pretty much it going to be for us for this campaign. Um. Of course, we're going to win the war first. We're considered a major power, huh? Ah, so are we. Got way more divisions than the mo, which is nice. Not I meaning all of these guys are really good, but still. I don't know. I think this mod has a lot of potential. I would say it definitely has a lot of potential. I like to see how this mod continues on in the future. I mean, this at the time of recording, this is literally only just a demo for the full mod. So, like I said, we'll see. Hope the artillery bug gets fixed because that's kind of disappointing that it is currently glitched. But you know, it is what it is. No tree leader range here. Nice. Do we take every tile or? Oh, they're getting close. Supplies are really bad though. Jungle, of course. Only what do you expect? It's a jungle. Oh, wait. We just pieced out. What? This is fine. No, it's not fine. We took what? And oh, okay. There we go. Now the end of demo. Okay, I think we're playing our demo. Another screen will pop up for your event. Oh, thank you for playing the Ashes of Libertad Alpha. Be sure to follow Dev Team's progress on the mod on our Discord server. Have a wonderful day. Oh. Oh, we're friends now. Look at that. Led by Alexander Brown. Conservatives. Unhappy with the status quo when conservative will. Well, it's so secretive, we don't know. We can't figure out what's going on. So, hey, if you enjoyed the campaign, leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. Let me know what your thoughts are on the Acre Republic. And I'll see you tomorrow in another campaign. Thanks for watching. Have a great, 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 great rest of your day.